we're about halfway through testing out these tooth bars. And I just want to stop and make one thing perfectly clear that I forgot to say in my intro. I have no allegiance to any of these brands. I don't care at all which tooth bar wins or if the stock bucket is the best. I'm just going to do the test and the results are the results. So let's get started. When it comes to compact tractors, there are basically three popular tooth bars available. And I've heard every version of this debate about which is the best. And what I want to do today is give the best test I can to see which of these tooth bars are the best. I'm going to compare them in three different scenarios. And then I'm going to grade them in five different categories of performance and price. So hopefully you guys enjoy this or find it helpful if you're in the market for one of these products. Go ahead and record my immediate thoughts on that before I kind of forget between the different ones. It felt pretty ineffective. It felt like it really struggled. I just couldn't push very hard and part of my first conclusion comparing these buckets in the past is that you can have a world-class cutting edge on it if a small tractor like this doesn't have the pushing power to utilize it it doesn't matter and if that's the conclusion at some point that's why the stock bucket looked just fine but not to get too far ahead that was an 11 inch deep hole that I cut in five attempts. Initially, I was planning to include this back dragging this dirt in the comparison and really changed my mind because it's got sod clumped in it and it's not a good material to back drag. So we'll save the back dragging comparison for when we're working in the rock. Man, this one really peels the sod off. That came off in one sheet without much stalling from the tractor. You know, I've done a couple of comparisons like this, and I know what kind of comments I'll probably get. I'll get positive comments, but I'll also get some complaining that I didn't administer the test exactly equally, or I came in at a different angle, or things like that. And... You know, I'm not perfect, and I'm just doing the best I can to try to make a fair comparison. Same thing I demonstrated when I compared the Wicked Tooth Bar to the B Expanded before. The B Expanded Tooth Bar cuts better for digging a hole like this. It's 17 inches deep instead of 11 inches deep, and I was able to make it longer. I didn't measure it that direction on the other one, but this is 59 inches. The other one definitely was not. You can see it.
I was just about done digging the second hole when I realized I didn't have the tractor in four-wheel drive. And I would have preferred to do this test in four-wheel drive, but I wanted to do all of them the same. So I left it in two-wheel drive for this portion of the test. And when I move on to the next dirt piles, I put it in four-wheel drive and do the rest of the test that way. Really, I think the most important thing is that I do it the same way with each bucket. So first impressions of just digging with this, it felt like it struggled more, which is what you would think would happen. Felt like I, especially the first time breaking through the sod, it just didn't want to cut through. And so I kind of gave it an extra try and didn't count that first one because it didn't, it didn't do anything. But at the end of this, I think it made just as big of a hole. And for something that's free, as opposed to all these products cost money, not bad. We'll see how it does on all the other tests, but for the hole, I mean, they all are digging a hole, right? And it didn't take that much longer. So, the Wicked Tooth Bar dug, I think, an 11 inch deep hole. And we got 17 with the Piranha. And this is about 16, 15, 16 with just the stock bucket. What can I say? That's the result I got. 59 inches. This hole and the one dug over there are about the same. Let's try it with the heavy hitch bar. I came into this with a preconceived notion that the heavy hitch tooth bar would be much more aggressive at digging. It just seemed to make sense that it would be. And I was a little bit surprised when it initially had trouble breaking through the sod. Once it gets through the sod, it cut a lot better. That was not the result I expected. I thought with fewer points of contact, that was gonna just push through like nothing. It's not what happened. Didn't feel the dig any better than the other ones did. And this is where I wanna talk about the placebo effect. If you've got a tractor and you, you're like, man, I want some accessories for this. I want a tooth bar. I say, man, if I could have a tooth bar, I'd dig so much better. Well, then they're expensive and you save up some money and you invest your money in it. Then you wait on the lead time and you wait on the shipping. And you finally install it. By this time, you've built this tooth bar up into this 
amazing thing that it may or may not be. Then you go ahead and dig a hole and you don't take your tooth bar off and then dig the same hole in the same place and compare it. And I think there's some amount of placebo effect here because that didn't feel much different really than a regular bucket. And that's only one thing. There's lots of different things you can do with the bucket and we're gonna go do a couple more. But for just digging a hole, there's not that big of a difference. And for the this test, this one made a hole that was 19 inches, but not as wide because when I tried to push in more, it wasn't pushing as well. The piranha bar does the best job of slicing through soil. And that's why it was able to make a longer hole. This is 19 inches deep, it is deeper, but I felt like I spent more effort into trying to force it to dig. It might have been overkill bringing the Harley rake down to smooth out the ruts from this, but also the path between the house and where I'm working is pretty rough. So I ran it on the trip down here. The next test is to move this dirt pile, which is about half dirt and half mulch and rock and debris and a little bit of everything from the property cleanup job I finished the other day. Now this pile's only been here a couple days, so it's not packed in, down or anything like that that would give an advantage or a disadvantage to the first tooth bar being used. And with this test, I wanted to scoop different types of materials, which is what this is, out of a pile. And I also wanted to try pushing once I got down to the end of the pile to see how well they would do kind of bulldozing. That felt like it did a really good job. Little bit of an issue with the geometry on the front and I dug in more than I wanted to sometimes. But I don't have anything to compare it to yet. Let's grab another tooth bar. If you're wondering why I'm doing them in a different order each time, it's just random and I was trying to avoid changing the tooth bars more times than I needed to.
I actually got this pile backed into a corner a little bit where it was hard to get behind it on this time test. So I think I cost the B expanded bar just a little bit of time on this portion. By the way, I placed the load with the stock bucket. The Wicked Tooth Bar is not on my stock bucket. As you can clearly see, I didn't buy a Wicked Tooth Bar. I bought a Wicked Tooth Bucket. And that bucket is higher capacity, which is an advantage in how quickly I can move this material, but it's a little bit of a disadvantage in the other test. Overall, I don't think it's enough of a difference to throw off the testing, though. Okay, I'm going to check the video and check how long it took on each pile and how many scoops, but man, that's a routine task you might do. They all seemed about the same. Not a whole lot of difference. I I don't I'm not crazy about the way the heavy hitch is when you're trying to push into something because the geometry would take some getting used to the fact that those teeth stick down lower than the cutting edge. Right. Anyway, let's move up and work with some gravel. Today is a Saturday, so all the quarries are closed in the area, so I wasn't able to go get a fresh pile of rock. So we're testing this in the last place that I spread rock. This rock is mostly larger stone, and it's not compacted, so felt like a good place to test. When I just finished back dragging this with the Wicked Bucket, I didn't get as thick of a layer down where I'm starting, and I didn't want to dig into the dirt. That's why you see me doing my digging off to the sides on this test.
Back dragging with the heavy hitch bar was not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Final test of the day, and I tell you, it was 100 degrees and humid and no wind today. So I really took one for the team to come out here and test this and just make more messes that I had to clean up later. But if there are a few people who are in the market for a tooth bar and feel like they gain good information from this, then it was definitely worth it. Okay, I'm going to say with each of the tests that I did, I could see a little bit of variation in the way I did the test. It's not intentional, it's just human nature, I guess. I'm not a robot, I can't do it the exact same way, same angle, same everything every time. But I tried to be impartial, and I really did not care which of these products performed better. So let's go through and rank them on a couple categories. Start with cost, that's really obvious. The most expensive tooth bar is the heavy hitch. So that's four. Third place, wicked tooth bar. It's a little bit less. I think you're at like 500 and then 400. And then the piranha bar was under 300, I believe, or around 300. I probably shouldn't say the numbers because I'm messing them up. It's been a little while since I ordered everything. But I do know the, the pecking order most expensive is Heavy Hitch, second most Wicked, third most is the Piranha Bar, and the winner is your stock bucket. You already have it. So, there's a clear winner there. Now let's say digging performance. I'm gonna say last place is the Wicked Tooth Bar, and I'm trying to be real. Maybe a, right there between the Wicked Tooth Bar We'll say the stock bucket is fourth, and then Wicked is third. Second is the heavy hitch. And I was confident when we started this, the heavy hitch would be the best digger. It's not what happened today. And the, the best digger out of all of them is the Piranha Bar. And why is that, in my opinion? The Piranha Bar has a sharp edge that contacts your entire digging area. It's like trying to take a knife because it's, the bucket doesn't saw. So if it's a serrated edge, it doesn't matter that much. It's the lead edge being sharp. So like trying to cut something with a knife, you want it to be sharp. The heavy hitch bar is like trying to cut something with a fork. If you need to cut a piece of meat, you're not gonna stab it with a fork a bunch of times. So, I was surprised by that result, but that's the best metaphor I can give for it. And then the other two are like a dull knife. Everything Attachments is proud of the fact that their bucket is blunt on the end. Said it'll last forever because it's blunt on the end. Well, it, it probably will, and we'll get to that in a minute. But it doesn't cut as well as a sharp edge. And they criticized the B Expanded Tooth Bar saying that that sharp edge will wear out. Well, if you take a point like this, say this is your, your tooth bar, it's a sharp edge, and it drags the bottom a lot, it's going to wear up your diagonal edge and should kind of self-sharpen. I don't think that's going to be as much of a problem as they make it out to be. And you have a sharper edge on this factory bucket than you do on the, the Wicked Tooth Bar. And that's why I think in some scenarios it cuts a little better. Now. The Wicked Tooth Bar has these really cool, like, jagged edges all the way down it. 
And it seems like if you were taking that and sawing with it, it would be the best cutter out here. But you're not doing that. I mean, hypothetically, can you get it up against a branch and then kind of ram into it at an angle and kind of saw with it? Sure, but that's not how I'm using my bucket most of the time. So digging performance, I'm gonna go stock bucket, everything attachments, the, the heavy hitch, and then the piranha. Um, back dragging, I think you've got a three-way tie for, for good with Everything but the heavy hitch. All the others back drag just fine. No, those zigzag cutting edges don't make your back drag worse because you're back dragging with your bucket at an angle, say, you get it pretty close and you can flatten your bucket out and just use the bottom of the bucket to back drag and they'll all make a flat surface after you're done. The heavy hitch will not. And that's because all the other tooth bars are flat on the bottom or even if like the wicked sticks down a little bit below your factory edge, but it's still a flat bottom. The heavy hitch teeth kind of do this. And so when you're back dragging, I thought it'd be fine. Back drag like this, get it close, then turn the bucket flatten, but it doesn't work. Your teeth still hang down. So back dragging, we have a three-way tie and then a loser in that category. Now durability. This is a little bit hypothetical. Three of the four cutting edges I've put a lot of hours on, and one of them I just got. But I'm in all the message groups, I'm in all the Facebook groups, I've got 550 videos out, and all those videos have comments. And I learn from the comments, I learn from your experience. A lot of people have left heavy hitch comments, people have left comments on all these cutting edges. And I can learn from that, and my own experience, and just what I see, the most durable product here will be the everything attachments. It's, okay, so there's a, there's a tweak in how you look at it. I guess I would say the most durable product is the heavy hitch. Because if you were to damage it, you can replace the teeth. And I don't think you're going to damage it. And so if you count replacement teeth, which is not an option on any of the others, then heavy hitch is number one and then the everything attachments, and then probably the piranha bar. I have seen a broken piranha bar out of thousands and thousands and thousands of them though. It's not something that's happening all the time. And then your factory bucket edge will get worn and beat up. And all of these other products protect your factory bucket edge. So I guess that's all the categories and how to look at it. Now, when we talk about price, durability, you know, digging power, back dragging, look at everything about them, what do I think are the best products? So I'm going to rank in last place the Wicked Tooth Bar. It came in last in several categories as we looked at it. It doesn't really cut better than the factory edge on the bucket. It costs a lot of money. It's, I, I wouldn't buy it again. Next, I would say the heavy hitch. Something I didn't mention yet is I don't like driving forward with it. So let's say you put a pile of dirt in your yard and you want that dirt gone, but you don't want to gouge your yard. Heavy hitch has a weird geometry. You've got your bucket is flat on the ground. Say you're not moving, your bucket's parked flat. You've got teeth that come off the end and dip down. And the geometry of that is a little bit hard to feel for me and it's, it's intermittent, so you've got teeth that stick down further than your lead edge of your bucket. It's not going to scrape that dirt clean off. I don't like that. I don't like the back dragging thing. People make the comment that it's so easy to take on and off that they just take it on and off all the time, so they don't mind taking it off to back drag. I disagree. I've taken it off four or five times today. When you take those set screws in and out all the time, they're going to wear out. They're going to not tighten down as good. The end on a set screw, typically, I didn't look at the bottom of these, typically there's kind of like a ring at the bottom that cuts into the metal and, and bites. And you're going to wear that, that biting edge flat. Typically with the set screw, you can put Loctite on it, but you can't Loctite them if you're going to take them off all the time. Most people are fine with that. Most people are not complaining about that. So 
I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I did have a comment today from someone saying he really fights with keeping his set screws tight. they constantly backing out. So I'm ranking third place, heavy hitch. Second place, factory bucket edge. You saw the test. It did fine. It was never the best at anything. It didn't dig as good as something and it didn't it didn't it doesn't dig quite as good as the, the tooth bars and probably in a test like I've done before going through like some saplings or something it might come in last place there. But it doesn't cost you anything. You can back drag with it. There's no maintenance. I'm going to say second place I would save my money and just use the factory bucket. The winner here, and it's not by a landslide, but the winner here, and what I'm going to use every day is the piranha bar. I've got all the three bars here. I can do whatever I want. I'm going to put the heavy hitch bar and the everything attachments bar up for sale. So if you live nearby, you want to come pick up a, a tooth bar, they're in great shape. I'll give you a pretty good deal. So. I picked it because it's well-rounded. It is the clear-cut best digger. If you want to push your bucket into dirt, it does the best. That's just my experience. And I think, I would say it's quicker and easier to take on and off than the heavy hitch. It back drags it better than the heavy hitch. It's sharp, unlike the Wicked. It protects my stock bucket. So the configuration I'm gonna run every day on my tractor is the B Expanded Piranha Bar with the Atta Grapple from Precision Manufacturing. And when I don't need a dedicated grapple, that's gonna be the front setup I run. I did the best I could to make a good video about this. An unbiased, fair, comprehensive video. But each section, each thing I want to test, takes a long time to do something four times and switch tooth bars and go through all that. So it's hard to make a perfect test and to test every possible scenario. But I did my best. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, and I'm going to put links on the screen to more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.